Well, guys, it's been a tough choice, but we're heading back to see my old good pal Buck at the John Deere dealer. He called me, actually. He was like, hey, get your butt back here. We got some good inventory coming in. So I'm going to go check him out. We'll see what we got. It looks like that little fart's running around over there. Yeah. Holy crap. New inventory. My gosh, dude. Is that a four-wheel drive? He's got a disc over there. Okay. <laughs> Man, if we end up buying this, I don't even know if the old international is going to be able to pull this stuff around. We'll see, though. Man, it's got a new truck for me, too. Okay, we'll swim water across here. By the way, I do have to say, if you guys end up enjoying this 80s roleplay, seriously, best thing you can do is help me out uh, by smashing that like button. Also, if you have any suggestions for anything, put it in the comment section. We'll see what Buck has for us. Hey, Buck! Oh, he can't hear me. What is this? 4440 what? open station? Boy, I told... Why did you walk behind... Oh, sorry, behind. sorry, sorry, safety. I'll, I'll get back. I say, don't do that. You're gonna get, don't get in front of the machine when we're doing that. Anything's got no cameras on here. Brakes ain't the best. Did you guys just get this in? A 4440? Open station? That is correct. Man. This is... A, how, how many horses is this 4440? 100, uh, 130 buff horses. Okay. Well, Buck, tell you what. I went to the IH dealership. They got some good equipment. And it's something I may buy. But I think I want to be deer, man. If that's cool with you. Well, then what's this whole thing about you want to buy the International Harvester over there? Well, maybe my back? combine may be different. We'll see. We'll see. Because mm. I hear the old inter the, the International Combines are out doing the John Deere's. That's what I've heard. But I want to test it for myself. I want to see. I got you. I got you. Well, are you here to buy something today? I'm here to buy something today, Buck. Uh, all right. Well, I saw you stop by over here, and I thought you were getting out to talk to me, but were you looking at this, uh, this 250? Yeah. Yeah. What yeah we got... it? It's an old used one you guys got in? It's a high it's 72. Board. It's 12 years old. Okay. It's 72. Now, this is actually from my dealer down the road. Yeah. But you didn't want to put a Ford at a Chevy dealership. I see. For, yeah, I wanted to. I need to bring that 72. I need to bring up the other one over down there, too. I like Yo, light. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Here you go. Uh, all right. Well, um, hey, you want a cigarette? Uh, I don't oh, know, man. Buck. But I'll take one. I'll take one. I'll take one. All right. All right. Don't go on a coffin spray like you did last time. I'm getting better. Mm. Ah, there you go. All right. Campbell, these smokes aren't bad. What did you have <laughs> last time? You, you used a different brand last time. It's pretty no, good. We used, no, uh, they were they were a camel. <coughs> little. Oh, uh, no come on. I don't know what your uh, your situation is with. Uh, and, I mean, assuming if you're gonna come in here and just buy some equipment today, why not throw it in with this? And yeah, well, we'll up. see what you it's can work up core here. American Steel, twelve year old truck. It's a two fifty. It's got a solid front axle, of course, in the mm -hmm. front. She is a beaut. Care if I fire her up? I like the color. Right I really like the color, man. This one's mm -hmm. my neighbor down the road had one just like this. I love this color. Okay, let me jump in her. Mm -hmm. Buck, keys in there? Yep. Okay. Nice. And sounds. Listen sounds to that big big. block. That big block sounds good. Dang. Mm hmm. Do you care if I just give her a test drive down the road? You know, I drive stick, don't you? Yeah. Actually, hang on, hang oh, on. No, she's an automatic. Wait, nope, nope. Yeah, oh shoot. I thought it was a three on a tree. Nah. You don't know, drive that. one of those? No, nah, I don't. Oh. That's a shame. Come on, man. You gotta learn how to drive a three on a tree. I'll be back, Buck. She goes good. The only thing I'm worried about is can I eventually okay, it's got a fifth wheel attachment for like a camper, but I do want that gooseneck ball on there. There's sorts of attachments you can get for them. I need that gooseneck ball in there though. If we're gonna be pulling livestock trailers, equipment trailers, we need that gooseneck ball. Tell you what, she gets going. Here, I'm gonna turn around, see how she does off road. Okay, I like it, but I can't show him too much excitement. We can't. Well, did she hold up for you? Yeah, she did. I like her. She is her. Right now, she got a standard price of about uh, well, right now we got it selling for eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Okay. Mm hmm. She got one hundred and thirty thousand miles on her. Okay. Built to last. For eighteen hundred, I'll take her, Buck. I'll take her. You'll take her. I'll take her. Done deal. Done deal. Okay. I'm not, even like see I'm not seeing much rust on it. For 130k miles, it's not bad. That's what I'm saying. 
People these days, they like to take care of their stuff. Yeah. Who who owned it before? Uh, that. Remember Jeremy Hoffbauer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hoffbauer family. He lived up north. Yeah, he's, yeah, this is his old truck. Okay. Okay. Yep. This okay. was, uh, okay. it, had a, it had some rust damage on it, but they did a little bit of work to it. Okay. Well, let's go hook you up with some tractors. Now, that 4250, they used to sit down here on the edge of the yep. lot. Yep. Yeah, that's that what was it was. Sold. You sold it without me. Yep. You didn't even ask me. Fuck. How about the 4450, though? Whew. Well, what do we have for a price on this? Because that 4250 was at, what, 42500 if I remember. And you yep. said, you said, look at the number and add a zero to her. So is this 44500 yeah, again. Mm-hmm. But the horsepower, so 4450 isn't. I've been doing some research. This is probably what 20, 15 more horse than the 4250. Okay. Mm, it's not much. You only get about 10, 15 buff horses extra. Okay, okay. But your torque will be a little bit higher because of the fact that you'll get a high, little bit higher output. Your gear, well, and we they, we set the gears so that way a little bit more torquey yep. so you can get a little more bed into the field work plus it's got duels on it so you're already going to be making a lot bigger headway so if i know. did this this would be my this would probably be my plan tractor. this probably would be, be your all-around tra- go-to pro- workhorse yeah yeah that's that's exactly what i was thinking probably that be a sprayer it. tractor tillage everything so i gotta figure out because i want to have two three solid tractors mm-hmm. the bottom end would do field work and chores so say i bought that 4440 if you guys have a loader i could use that it's a little high horsepower for me, but it'd work. That's for the... Uh, well, I, well, actually, if you think about it, this could be your work tractor, correct? Yeah, yep, yeah. Let me just interest you oh, in one of our no, newer... Oh, no, I saw that, dude. Holy crap, man. Better sell the house, sell the farm, sell everything. My gosh. But it will make you four farms, four houses, and four more things. Because, I mean, look at this thing. Articulation, suspension. Did you really have to put it on a rock, man? You have to hey, flex like that. You have to yes. flex like that. Fuck. Hey, how else do you think advertising is gonna work? That's true. This baby, f- get it. Okay, there are the keys in the console. Fire this sucker up and listen to that engine. Okay. It is a powerhouse. How, and how many horses? Eighty. <laughs> that cigarette is hitting hard. You're still smoking that, that same one? What the heck's wrong with you? Oh, yeah, good stuff. Okay. You need to lay off the cigarettes, boy. I'll fire her up. Keys are, keys are in her bucket. Yep. She's running that 185 horsepower. Okay. Man. Clean cab. Everything. Oh. She sounds like a beast, Buck. Look at Wait her. Wait for to idle. There we go. Holy crap. She is... This this is this is right here is what you want to get. Yeah? Yeah, but and what's the it, price? You're probably going <laughs> to... How many horses is she? 206. Okay. And then what is a price tag on something like this? Because the you, you literally said the 4450 would do me fine on tillage. Right? Yep. So why this would be this? if you want if you depending on how much land you're gonna buy is how much you're gonna want to get. If you're gonna if your if your farm's gonna have bigger fields, you're gonna want to get this thing. I am but moving to northeast Iowa where it is pretty hilly. That's my only thought about going with a tractor like this. If I'm doing tillage, it'd be yeah, nice see, to, this is where you might want to get this because this right here is four wheel drive. That is not. Yeah, I can tell. But uh What's the price tag? What's she gonna cost me? This baby right here is gonna run you sixty-four thousand. That's honestly not too bad. I she was be, expecting uh, a lot more. Okay. It's because of the fact that <clears throat> it may be a bigger tractor. Yeah. But it's not overpower. Like we, it's still, it's pretty, it's running a bigger engine, but it's not much different from the one in the forty, the forty-two, the forty-four forty over there, forty-two fifty, wherever it is. The one that you know, yeah. forty-four fifty. Yeah. Dang all those numbers. <clears throat> it's it's a lot. You're the biggest thing. The biggest expense is your four wheel drive and the biggest yep. tires as you'll see. Yep. Unless you get one of those big buds, those suckers are massive. Yeah. But those things also cost half a. Do you think this thing's cheap? Do you think this sucker's pretty expensive? Where you need to go with that? They say those. I don't even know how farmers afford that thing. And you have a here. Let me. 
So you also got a 4840 in I saw. And they're both on 220 discs. So both of these could be big tillage tractors, pretty much. Mm -hmm. That is correct. What's the price on something like this? 4840. 4840? She'll get you about 56000 Okay. Again, the four-wheel drive is your biggest killer here. Then it doesn't have the articulated suspension. Well, articulated steering, I mean. I almost I like the 4840 look better, but it's not about looks. It's about practicality. That 8440 might not be a bad buy. Nope. What do you what What else you got for big boys? Um. Uh, well, actually, this is a used tractor over here. But to the other side of the International Harvester over here, we have ourselves a nice Massey Ferguson 4900. Okay. This one's not nearly as uh, I would say. Well, no. Well, yeah, because it's used, but it also is uh how you say, not as smooth riding as the deer. Okay. So, but it's also because it's a little bit older. It's not too much older. Yeah, yeah. But it's still, it's, it's, it's in good condition. It's just that it rides rougher. What do you got for a price on the 4900 then? And what's the horsepower difference? So it has 260 horse and it has that Kelman's eight cylinder in her. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's a big fella and she's big Bertha. What do you got for a price on her, Buck? Well, she does have about three 3,000 hours on her already. Okay. So she was a field horse, as you can already tell. Yeah. Have you guys done we any major repairs to her? Only thing that has happened is uh, they actually, I don't know what the heck happened to the PTO shaft, but it's we, we have to install a new actual PTO drive. Okay. And that'll come see. with, with included in the price. Yes, I mean, if you opt to have it put back in, like if you okay. want that put back in here, we can. Yep. That'll put yep. then we'll put it in. But otherwise, no, it will just it'll just be you'll sell you the tractor. Okay. He said he got it fixed. We took a look at it to make sure there wasn't some ganked up fixed job on yep. it, and there wasn't. It was it was done well. It okay. was done correctly. So everything on here, it's a solid tractor. Okay. So what do you got for the price? This one because it's used and the fact that it's got the hours on it, we're selling this one for thirty six thirty six thousand. It seems like it's cheap horsepower, but 3,000 hours is beginning to be a lot on there. Not really. These suckers are built to last to at least seven or eight. Okay. And if you really take care of them, they can get up to 10. Care if I give her a test drive down the road? Can. Just remember, that's, uh, this one's a little bit rougher of a ride. Okay. I'll jump in her. Key's in her, right? Should be. She gets going, I'll tell you that. Man, how fast are we going? We're going 23 mile an hour with this four-wheel drive. My, my thought here is if this can put out 260 horse, it's a four-wheel drive, same as the 8660, but it's like half the price. The only thing is it does have 3,000 hours, and Buck says it's not as, like, made as well or smooth, but I'm kind of digging it. I don't know, though. I don't know if we would need to stay all deer because the combine I'm thinking about getting, I'm going to be honest, is probably an international, not a deer. Guys, I'm liking this tractor. I am. I think for the cheap horsepower, this may not be a bad idea. I do love that 8440, but man, paying double the price just isn't worth it for something like this. I think we got to go with the Massey. Where's Buck at? Buck? Put the ramps down on my trailer. Let's load her up. I'll, bu I'll take her. Oh, sorry. I was taking a, taking a quick cat nap. Oh, um, shoot. You're just going to take her? You're not even going to consider the deer? I don't think so. I don't what? think I can pay double the price for that. But it's new. But it's double the price. <laughs> so? But, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to buy a deer. That doesn't mean I'm not going to buy a deer, Buck. We're going to take the 4900 Massey, and I'm going to... And I really want to buy the... And I really okay. want to take the 4450 okay. also. Um, all right. Well, that I can deal with. I and, can understand. And then I was, looking, I was looking at this 4440 open station, because I want an open yeah. station tractor. The only thing is, this may be overkill for what I need it for. But we'll see. Would you rather? Well, here's the thing on that. Yeah. Yes, it might be a little bit overkill, but you don't. You'd rather have too much than not enough. That's true. You get in. You get into some heavier stuff, and you, get, you need to lift something. Say, say um, your farmhand comes over and he gets stuck under a pile of pallets. Don't know why he'd get stuck under a pile of pallets, but you're gonna want something that's bigger to get it out. That's true. Could we put a loader on the 4440? Could I get a loader attachment on it? You would, but we'd have to we'd have to order the brackets because we don't have them right now. Okay. Bring well, it back and we'll put them on. If I if I could get a loader on this 4440, we didn't even talk price, but what's the price on this? Eh, she'll cost you about 33000 Okay. 
I'll take her. I'll take her for thirty three, and I'll take the forty four fifty. As well as the Massey. As well as the Massey. All three. And what about the combine? I don't know. I gotta look around for combine. That's not my biggest need right now. All right, well, I can agree with that. It's it's only, it's only spring. You get everything that you need because I'll remember all the keys are in them. Okay. Uh, all you need to do is just park them up where you need to so you can load them up. I'll get the paperwork ready. Meet me in my office. First office on the right. Okay. So this is what we're going with. 4450, which I think is going to be an all-around good solid tractor. We can run the disc on it. We can run anything. And then we got the big Massey. Now, I know some of you guys aren't going to be okay with having a Massey in here, but we're going to. We're going to. The price was half. It just makes sense. It was half the price of the 8440. I just I couldn't pay that premium uh, for a nice cheap horsepower. I like her. Maybe she'll run good. We'll see. It's got the eight cylinder Cummins. I think this will work good. And if we want, this is 260 horse. If I can't get enough traction, I can put triples on her. She has 60 more horse than the deer over there, so I don't think it's too bad to buy. Okay, I'm running the hydraulics run on the old Lodestar. We're gonna get her folded down, and then I think what's gonna happen. Is put the, I don't know if we put the 4440 up here, or what's going to, I think all we, I don't know how I'm going to hold this 4900 Massey. I don't think we can fit that on there and hold all three tractors. That's just insane. But I think something doable is hauling the 4440 and the, oh, Buck's already got him started. Is hauling the 4440 and the 4455 at the same, or the 4450 at the same time. So I'll get in the 4440 and we'll start loading her up. Put her in gear. There we go. Nobody's coming left to right. Okay, we should be good. Let's crank, crank her up. Both are power shift, by the way, in case you guys didn't know. Crank her up a gear. There we go. The reason I did go with the 4440 is because it was the only open station tractor. I wanted an open station tractor, that's for sure. Oh, gosh, this is tight through here. There we go. I wanted an open station tractor for sure. And so the 4440, I didn't need this high of horse. But if we can get a loader on here, 4440, I can use this for a lot of field work too. Open station, I like that. And there's Buck coming through back there. Okay, I think we're just going to go. We're just going to load these straight up. Let me gear down a little bit. I got to I gotta talk to Buck quick before we load this up. Do you, what? Do you, want, to, do you want to guide me up there? Just watch yeah, me? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, sounds good. Okay, here we go. Let's put her in gear. All right, keep it coming. Keep going. You're centered. You're, you're centered. You're centered. Maybe yeah. make it. Turn your wheel to the left. Just oh, yep. Wait, wait. Turn back a little bit. To the right. Okay. Yep. Okay. Good. Yep. Straight on. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yeah. Hey, let me hop down here quick. Back. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Okay. Oh, the same thing with this one. I um I won't judge your your strapping skills. Okay, but... never mind. We won't do that. We don't need to do that. It's all good. Okay. Do the same thing with the uh, the forty four fifty and I'll get okay. you. Crank her up a gear. There we go. Okay, Buck. How much more? I'm making sure you're centered. You're good. Just keep coming. Keep coming. Okay. Keep coming. Turn your wheel to the left a little bit. There you go. Keep coming, keep coming. Stop, 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 stop. Now we got to tilt this thing up. Mm -hmm. Let me jump in there. I'll grab I'll grab her. All right. Okay. Is everything going good? Tilting? Yep. Everything seems to be fine. I'm sure. What do you got? Yep, yep. I got straps here. There you are. There we go. We'll throw a strap. Strap. Okay, what about there my pickup go. truck? Man. <laughs> Dude, we could have almost fit. Dude, I think we could have fit the pickup truck on. If you want to do your tilt style, we can. That's up to you. I think we could have fit it on. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think we can fit it on here. Okay. We got to back everything off, though. Jump in the 44. No, no, we don't. Unstrap it. We'll roll this truck. We'll roll the tractor forward because the tractor's got better ground clearance. Okay. We will strap down the heck out of that front one because if that sucker comes loose, you're you're bye bye a long time ago. Okay. Okay. Now I gotta jump in the 4440. Scoot your up. As far as possible. Here we go. Okay, Buck's not around, so we gotta get this. Can't screw it up. I think that's good right there. There we go. Shut her off. Get in the 4450. 
All right, I got you this time. Okay. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep coming up. You got about five feet. Keep coming. Yep. Yep. And stop. Yep. Oh, shoot. Back it up. There we go. Good. Sorry. Back it up. Little. Back it up. I don't know, man. That's going to be a rough fit if it gets on there. Keep coming. Good. Good? Back up like an inch. Oh. Okay. Now come forward an inch. Good. Perfect. We're good. It'll work. Let me pull forward and then those wheels will slide back. You think we could uh, fit the Massey on here still? Yeah, good luck with that one. You you tell me when that, when that happens. You know what this is right now? What? This is a world of OSHA violations. Well, if I get pulled over, I'll just say it was your idea. We'll just send a ticket over here, right? What's the address of this place? Yeah, good luck finding that. <laughs> this is your own fault. Good <coughs> dying over oh. there. You're still not done smoking yeah, that dang still cigarette before I'm up. already on my fork. <coughs> still finish it up. That's well, why it's called they got a hydraulic system. The hydraulic system will get that back. Okay. You pull and that's going to wear the parts. Okay, okay. My bad. It's your trailer, not mine. I'm just telling you. I know, and I just bought it, so thank you. I appreciate it. I do. Okay. I got all the paperwork ready to go. It's going to be a freight train, I'll tell you that much. Let's go do her. Let's go get that. All right. Step into my office. Whoa. So. <laughs> you just got two little chairs, that's it? Yep. Okay. Pull up a stool. So, you are hereby now going to purchase the said uh, John Deere uh, 4450, as well as the John Deere 4400, 4440, correct? Correct. All right. It's time for math. You got one of those adding devices on you, don't you? They just started yes. coming out with those. I was going to say you don't. Calcu okay. No, I got a pencil paper. Yeah, but you got an adding device with you, don't you? Uh, I think those called calculators. I had never heard that term yet. I don't know. I don't know. My brother has one for college where those smart kids go. Yeah. Oh, Harvard? Iowa State. Oh. Uh, I've heard of that place. Yeah. I was a UNL grad myself. Really? Mm-hmm. Go Big Red. You don't even need you don't even need a adding device then. Nope. Dang. Grand total of $123,300. Holy crap, dude. That's a lot of money. I'm not the one dropping my bank. I'm not the one selling my house for this bill. Okay. We'll do it. All right. Let me grab uh, just a few little bits of paperwork, and we'll get you on your way. Go grab them from the filing cabinet back here. Hey, Stacy, you know where the dang file cabinet, we, we, where the sales papers are? Top drawer? Oh, there they are. Oh, get that. Nice lady. Here are the papers for the... There we are. We've got the papers for the 4440. Stay down here on the bottom. Yep. Sign your name. This will take you. This will take the bill of sale. There you go. And pretty much we'll just. Uh, and my gosh, would that take us an hour? Holy crap! Mm -hmm. Paperwork. Got to love gosh. finances. Yeah, that's done. Yep. Let's get driving. You get driving. I'm sticking here. Yeah. Okay. Well, if I have any breakdowns, I'll give you a call, Buck. That's for sure. All right. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Sounds good, I'll buck. catch you. All right, make sure you stop by again. I'll, I'll be here if you need me. Yep. I'll see you later. See ya. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Need a firm business handshake. Yes. Is Bubba, Bubba Gump go. doing okay? Yep, Bubba Gump's holding up fine. He just got a Big Mac for lunch today. Okay, okay. Okay, Buck, I'll see you later. Have a good one. See you, bud. Vote see Reagan. You. What? Vote Reagan. Will do. Well, boys, off to... We are uh, overloaded. We got to put up. Five hour drive up to Northeast Iowa. My gosh. Next stop, buying some land in Northeast Iowa. And we're ready to go. Holy crap, boys. Look at those rear tires, dude. I think we're uh, we're a little overloaded on this trailer. Nah, it's okay. Yeah. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the vid. If you did enjoy the vid, please smash that like button. The series is continuing. Uh, we'll see what happens next. We're almost waiting for the map, UMRV, to be done. I gotta end this video. I'll see you later. Thanks, guys.